Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm with Angelo Dragone, Welsh title challenger, professional boxer, and we're going to be having a chat about his uh, life and career. So, okay. So starting at the beginning, Angelo, I mean, um, I suppose that that's a good place to start. What sort of got you into boxing in the first place? I mean, where did your journey actually begin? Um, to be honest, it started uh, quite late, really. I started when I was about like 16, 17. I always like love boxing, like watching it on the telly, and like uh, my cousin and uncles boxed as well. So I've always, I always like uh, had an eye on boxing then, but uh, I, I just didn't take it up till I was say 16, 17. Um, I, I, I was like in and out of the gym at the start, like just uh, going up to the bag and just uh, my my mother would never be fighting at the start, <laughs> so uh, they wanted to go earlier, but. Um, and it just didn't get around to a kind of thing. But obviously, growing up then, 17, 18, 19, it was like kind of um, hitting the pubs and stuff like that. Like, and I, I, I took a few wrong turnings, to be honest. And um, I got, got myself into uh, uh, a bit of a sticky patch in my life and ended up, um, uh, you know, going down the, like, the drugs route and the, uh, uh, drugs and alcohol abuse, like, you know what I mean? So uh, it was just kind of, um, at the time, I didn't really see. Um, kind of uh, what I was doing wrong kind of thing it was a bit uh, oblivious to it all do you know what I mean but obviously um, I, I, as I was going on and on and on and like you see it was ruining my life and just giving it away actually and um, I had to like get out of that situation and um, that's when I started talk taking boxing a lot more serious then and, uh, and it, it definitely helped like so. I like that and then obviously you know coming out of that um sort of lifestyle you know and getting into training and getting into that i mean what what is the mental process like because and the reason i ask that is obviously there's a lot of people um, who are still in that sort of, that sort of position with alcohol drugs abuse or they're trying to get out of it but they don't know how um and there's you know there, there's some guidance but personally i feel there's not enough guidance of how to get yeah. out of style i mean what sort of process did you go through when you started taking it serious mentally I, I just um I, I just thought like this this is my last resort and I was killing myself to be honest. I was wasting myself away. Um and lucky enough, like after like six, maybe nine months, um my girlfriend um at the time fell pregnant and then I thought, No, there's no way I'm messing this up again now. So that was my like kind of motivation and like uh, I, I didn't want my kids looking up to me to be uh, an idiot basically, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I feel, feel now like like that moment um, when I had them in the ring after I was trying to fight those moments now. It's, it's just so precious to me now, like looking back and what I, they've always visualized that moment, like having my kids in the ring after a fight. And um, like, like that's my motivation and that's why I train hard and that's why, that's my kind of um, motivation in life, to be honest. I want to be so, uh, the most successful I can and uh, to, to provide for my family, like, do you know what I mean? So uh, that's just me, like. I don't, I don't care about like the money and the fame and all that. I just want uh, to be successful and um, for your kids to look up to me and say, like, well done, Dad. You know what I mean? Be proud. Like. Oh, that's excellent. That, that is a fantastic motivation. Um, I mean, funnily enough, that was, that was something I was going to ask you, is, is, you know, about motivation. You know, you've covered it. But uh, it is fantastic, to be honest, especially these days when you see, you know, particularly in boxing, you see so much of the, like, the money orientation um, and people focused on, and it, it's nice to see somebody who's sort of like yourself, a family, community orientated. That's that's yeah. wonderful. That is, and I mean, you touched on something else there that that I'd like to go back to. I mean, you you said about um, visualizing that dream, the Welsh title, it came true. What are the proudest moments of your career? Like you know, the best moments that that you'll sort of always always remember. Yeah, that that, that was probably it, to be honest. Like, yeah. obviously I did, I didn't have um, the de uh, decision on the night, like, but. Like I, I thought they had more because I thought like my kids' faces in the ring now waving to the crowd and like a ma massive uh, jam um, packed out crowd and uh, just the feeling picking them both up is just like winning the world title like you know what I mean is uh, the lovely moment and I, I remember it for the rest of my life and I'm sure they will do you know what I mean like when yeah. I see that picture now like uh, I got like a little video of it as well like and uh, every time I see that now it's it's just like. It brings you like a little bit of a tear, like of joy, like to I mean, it's, uh, it's a lovely special moment, like so. You, you know, people can't take those moments away from you. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's right, 100%, yeah. And obviously that fight um, got a lot of exposure. I mean, I remember at the time, you know, you were in, um, you know, all the local papers. Obviously that fight was featured. Um, you've had fights as well featured on, on the TV in the past. I mean, what's the, what do you feel is the impact um, on your community? I mean, do you sort of get stopped and, and recognised now locally? Yeah. After that fight, I got like a lot of, well, I'm quite uh, well known, obviously, in like, my area and like the community stuff because I do a lot of work obviously I'm uh, got my own business with, with boxing as well um, so obviously that, that it definitely boosted my business and like like wherever I was going uh, people are bumping into me obviously in the papers and like stuff like I like and um, obviously because there's a lot of controversy in the fight like everyone was you know you bloody robbed him right blah 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 <laughs> I couldn't have, go down the road like do you know what I mean so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of, a lot of um, a lot of publicity before the fight because everyone didn't see the fight, and then obviously a lot of controversy in the fight. So it's it was like the aftermath as well. Aftermath as well, do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, it was definitely a uh, lot of publicity off it, and uh, definitely raised my uh, profile a lot. Like you know? so, that's what's about to the end of the day, you know? Yeah, that's it. And obviously, I mean, obviously, it was a very controversial decision. Um, I mean, you know, everyone said that at the time. You know that that you got ripped off and and everything like that, basically, um, in, in the nicest way. But I mean, what sort of lessons did you take away from that? Because I, I know obviously it's a loss; it's not what you wanted. But do you, do you feel you gained? Like you gained? Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely gained. Like obviously, I, I, at um, at the end of the fight, I was obviously gutted and all that. But I wasn't as gutted as I thought I'd be because I was proud of the performance as well. Like I mean, it's, it's like a big step of fight. Uh, you know, live on SOC is a lot of pressure, and like I just soaked it all up. I loved every minute of it, to be honest. And it was, it took a lot of um, experience from the fight. Obviously, ten rounds in the belt, I knew I can go hell for leather for ten rounds. Um, like I had two cuts on the night, so it's all adapting to new things. Um, yeah, just to build up really is uh, is a great experience. It was a great fight, and uh, could take uh, loads from my like instead of like. You know, we like look like uh, some prospects. I will build the record record up to like 10, 15 and all, and I haven't even fought anybody. Do you know what I mean? So I can say my fifth fight of fought an unbeaten prospect, Welsh title, uh, ten rounds under my belt. So I'm ready for the next one. You know, what I, mean? I don't know, like I don't know, like bump my record up anymore. I just want the big fights, like you know. Yeah, I mean that that does lead into obviously you know your future ambitions. Um, in the sports, I'd imagine that uh, obviously another Welsh title shot is, is in there. But what what are you aiming for? I mean, what's now, right now? I mean, what's sort of the goal, the motivation? Yeah, well, the motivation is now before this uh, lockdown uh, happened, um, my manager Richie Garner has got me another opportunity to fight for a Welsh title, which will be uh, my next fight. Obviously, with this lockdown, now we're not sure when that's going to be. It was due to be end of June, so I can see maybe September time now, maybe so. I'm just, like that's why I'm still training hard now during lockdown, just staying ready. So that will be my next fight. Uh, fingers crossed. Like so, uh, that's my next goal, and uh, uh, that's my motivation now to work hard and train hard and be ready for that fight. Like whenever, whenever it is. Excellent. Um, I don't like really uh, making predictions and say, "Oh, I'm going to be like a world title uh, next world uh, champion or that." Because I'm more realistic. I'm more realistic. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't. Uh, I go one fight at a time. I don't look too far ahead. I just, I know you see a lot of prospects and last year, you know, I, I want to be the next world champion. Like, but to me, I, I just can't. Um, I know everyone's got a, like a goal to be, cause you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't be in the game otherwise. Do you know what I mean? But for me, I just don't, I don't see a realistic, like, do you know what I mean? Mm. I can understand that. I can understand. I like the outlook, actually. I really do. Like your outlook on it. And the one thing I'd like to go back to there as well is, I mean, obviously preparing. Um, you know, for a fight of that that level, and obviously preparing for these future fights. I mean, a lot of people talk about the training, the physical training, the discipline, and that's all good. But I mean, how do you really prepare for like a fight of that um, that size, and how do you handle the pressure and everything like that? Yeah, so uh, it is a lot to take on, a lot of pressure on your shoulders and all that. But um, like I said in the, in our post, like uh, I I've kind of thrived on the pressure, like to, like. Obviously, everyone gets like a little bit of nerves, fight week and all that. But um, like when when I'm there at the venue, like I just soak it all up. I use the the, the crowd and the energy in the room, and uh, I I just thrive on it. To be honest, I, I just love every minute of it. 
Um, obviously, uh, doing a training camp, there's a lot of um, mental intake. Like, there's a lot of uh, you know, you you put your body through hell physically. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when you're going home, you're not not being able to have the foods like everyone else is having, or you know, not going out to see the boys mm-hmm. and like missing out on nights out. Obviously, uh, people don't see that mental effect because it's like. It's like daunting in a way, isn't it? but you've got to realise this is more important. You know, you've got a lot of time to do after the boxing or after the fight kind of thing, isn't it? So, it's, uh, it's just, boxing is, is uh, it's a crazy sport, like, because people just think it's, all oh, right, you just jump in the ring now and that's it. Like, but they don't see the, the 10, 12 weeks camp and the, just the stuff you give up for, for, for the camp. And it's crazy, like, it's hard to explain sometimes. <laughs> Uh, that is that is a good insight, though. I mean, yeah, Pete, you're right. You are right. People only see the one side of it, but there, there's so much behind yeah. the scenes. I, I think that's one of the best sports in the world. Like, there's so much, uh, you know, it's so much like um, what's the word? Like, um, like it's kind of risk. I mean, uh, it's like everything could go wrong with just in, in one like punch. Can I do you know what I mean? You do all yeah. that training, all that sacrifices, and it's just click of a finger, and it's, it's you could just be gone like that. You know what I mean? Nobody knows what's gonna happen. Like so, it's not like uh, I don't know. Like, say in football, rugby, you got like 15 players behind you. I mean, it's just you, the trainer can do so much. Uh, but it's only you who can uh, who can do it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, that. Um, again, again, I like the outlook on it. I've I've heard it described as on the reverse side of that as like the loneliest sport and things like that. But actually, I, I like the way you're looking at it from a from a very positive. Point of view of even though the pressure's on your your shoulders, you can learn a lot about yourself and yeah, yeah. in the process. Um, yeah. That's good. And the, the one thing I, I would like to ask as well, sort of on the subject, and we, we've touched on it a few times, but is going back to the community. I mean, if you had advice, um, any advice you wanted to share for people starting out in boxing or people who you know wanted to be successful in in this game uh, or in anything, I mean, what would you say to them? Um, I just say do uh like well, you can you don't have to be about boxing specifically. You can just just get get out there and um, like join a club, join a sports team, uh, join the local gym. I think it's like the gym is a massive benefit for obviously your, your physical and mental health. Um, I feel it brings like um, I kind of teach you like life lessons as well, kind of thing. I teach you obviously the boxing gym. A perfect, obviously, example. Obviously, you teach you respect, discipline, um, and that's why I drum into my kids, my academy. Like it's not just turning up, hit the bags. I try and have, uh, I try and like, teach my academy a lot different. Uh, so, like, I'll sit them down, I'll talk to them about boxing, I'll talk to them about the benefits. This is why we do this. This is why we do that. Um, and like, I go on the board, like discipline, respect, and even like the five, six-year-olds, and I'll ask them, do you know what this means? And and then, like one of the kids will say what it means, then and I'll just show examples of what them, what I mean, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So I think um, it, it not only because it gives you obviously boxing lessons, but I think it gives you life lessons if you're taught properly. Like do you know what I mean? Mm. That's why I wanted to bring in a little bit different to my academy and stuff, and proper like get to the grassroots and teach them everything about the sport. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's a fantastic message. Like, I mean, like I said before, Angelo, because you you've been through a lot of these things yourself, and you've sort of you know been on the rock bottom, and you you know you've come back up, and you're making a success. I, I think it's uh, it's wonderful that you're passing that on, you know, putting that back into the community as, yeah. as fantastic work. Um, and so, I mean, tell us a little bit more about your 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 business then, from that point of view. I mean, obviously, you're, you're offering boxing lessons, other types of fitness as well. I mean, what 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 type of thing? Uh, as you as you probably know, I used to uh, be working on the milk ground tonight um, well, for the family business. Um, so I've, I've been a milkman for like ten years, and then uh, obviously when that two was fight came up, and I obviously couldn't juggle the two jobs about. Um, so it was like doing like part time personal training, uh, boxing training, uh, just doing like one to ones and group sessions uh, at the gym, and obviously that's grown and grown and grown now. So. It's, um, my dad obviously pushed me to follow my dreams kind of thing. So I knocked the milk run on the head and I've built the business up now. Um, and I probably train about like 25, 30 clients um, a week. Obviously, the gym's closed now, but obviously i got to adapt now to do a bit more online, like which is picking up every week. And uh, during uh, 
during my time in the gym. I've set it up like a kids' academy, which is uh, which is uh, kicked off brilliant. It's from ages five to eight, uh, boys uh, nine to fourteen boys, and I got like a girls only class. Um, so it's a good uh, mix of variety and like like I said with the academy, it's not like um, um, like a you you, you do not you don't it's not you know pressure to fight to go spa like it's a it's a academy for like you can just come and do the fitness side of it or or, or you can compete so it's for for everybody and everyone's welcome um and you just you, you can learn so much like I said earlier you can learn the the aspects of the boxing or you can learn the fitness side or you can you can compete like so it's a a good variety and it's a good mix for for everybody so it's um. So it's uh, right up everyone's street, like. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, it's fantastic. Fant- well, it's fantastic work you're doing, Angelo. And the last, the last thing, um, just you, you touched on there. Um, just going, just going back in time slightly now. I mean, you know, because you, you touched on your father sort of encouraging you, um, to follow your dreams. I mean, what effects do you think your upbringing um has had on on your career? Positively now. I mean, it's obvious that family is is very important to you. Um, yeah. Comes over. Um, I mean, how would you feel that your upbringing has positively um, benefited you? And not, not so much losing your way, but more before that. I mean, growing up on the farm. Do, do you feel that's helped your career? Yeah, I, think, um, I think like uh, well, to, to be honest, like as a kid, like I I didn't I never thought I'd be a professional boxer. Like it was more like football and stuff. Um, I, I had a great upbringing. Like my mum and my dad always do um, behind me whatever I chose. Like so, um, and they still are today. Like do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm down here now uh, together as a family uh, doing lockdown. But um, I think one thing I can take from uh, my upbringing. My my father is such a hard working man, and he's passed that on to me. Like I'm working hard. Like I've I've always been in work. Uh, whatever I done. Like obviously. Um, you know, and I think my work ethic has um, uh, gone into my uh, boxing training, and like, and I pass that on to the kids in the academy as well. And obviously, the way I fight as well, my work ethic. I think that's um, uh, one thing I can take from it. To be honest, is just working hard and like uh, when I, in life, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So um, definitely got my uh, my father's hard work ethic. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. I can understand that very much. And um, with, with your heritage, I mean, with the Italian stallion, uh, you know, ring name and, and things like that, you're obviously very proud of that. I mean, th- does that sort of play a part in your career as well? From any, from uh, any... Yeah, well, a little bit, maybe. Um, I just like, I, when I was in the, the Premier ABC gym um, up in Swansea, like, uh, I, I, it just uh, stuck one, day, one night. We were, in, uh, we were on a club show. Obviously, uh, the kids are on the on the stage watching. I was fighting, and one of them was shouting, "Go on, Italian, Italian!" <laughs> and it just stuck from the from then, like. So um, that that's how the the nickname come across. Like, obviously, it's a uh, it suited one because I'm like half Italian. My grandfather was born in Italy, um, in, in Naples. Uh, so um, yeah, obviously coming from Italian background, it's a perfect sense and like Rocky films and stuff. <laughs> So uh, it just uh, it just suited it well. Like people don't see that side uh, very often, really. Do I know there's a few people tell their stories and stuff, but when you go into depth about boxing, like it's not just about the bit in the ring. Like it's uh, the, you know, what people do on the outside as well. It just brings people together, and uh, you know, boxing is that you know it saved a lot of lives. Like at the end of the day, and I do what I mean. So talk about stuff like that. Like I go like a little bit of a background story. Like if I can inspire. Maybe one person who's seen our videos like done done a little job doing you know I mean? Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. That is. Yeah, I'm just curious about that, Angel, because I mean I've got a little bit of, of Italian myself. Like, you know, going yeah. back, I'm just curious. So, oh, well, that's that's fantastic. I mean, that's really that's that's everything. I mean, you you know, you've given a fantastic insight um, into your career. Very inspirational uh, message behind it all as well, um, which which I knew there would be. Um, and you know, I, like I said, I really appreciate you sort of taking the time to, um, have a chat with me today.